We have a young man who's um, a very talented thrower, and it is it is a always a great thing to have to have great talent on your team. It is something that you cherish, and you you um, you. You count your lucky stars that you have talent on your team. When you have a young man who's got talent and also great dedication and great work ethic, that's a rare thing. That's a very rare thing. And uh, we have that this year uh, with, uh, with Mr. Brennan. Um, but when you, when you take a guy who has tremendous talent, tremendous work ethic, dedication, and you add to that the skills for team, team building, team leadership, team bonding, and really, I mean, in, in many cases, um, you know, great help and instruction for his teammates. Uh, you have a combination of factors that just very, very rarely comes along. And uh, I'm, we're privileged to have Tim and, and to, to, to see him work and compete on a daily basis is, is a joy to me and to his teammates and to all the other coaches. Uh, we have great respect for, for him and for what he does. Um, I'll tell you just a little bit about what Tim has done this season, uh, a lot. <laughs> uh, besides scoring 172 points, <laughs> which is the most I've ever had an athlete score. Um, uh, Tim, Tim was... Um, uh, shot putter and a discus thrower. Both, uh, and he did do a little bit of javelin early in the season, but when Biggie started throwing 140 feet, we said, no, you know what? Don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll, let you, we'll let you concentrate on your main events. Um, Tim developed into uh, one of the best discus throwers in the area and um, broke his PR early in the season and just kept getting better. Uh, so he threw in the 130s, then, then threw 140, then threw 144, then threw 150, then threw 152, Ended up at 152.3. Uh, he's only four feet off the school record, so he's definitely got that in his sights for next year. Um, in the shot put, uh, he, uh, he he got back to 50 feet. He threw 50 feet seven inches, and um, both PRs, and, and that is a, a, a great season for him. Uh, he won. This is this is the kind of thing where where, where coaches dream of. Okay, so when you're, you're writing the lineup up and you're trying to figure out how to win a meet, and you go, well, we have first in the discus and first in the shot put. Then we got, we're starting off with 10 points, okay. So, and that is, I'm telling you, that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. When you have a rock like that that you can count on. Um, and I know he's not a robot, but man, he is consistent. So he, it's, it's a great thing. Now, Tim was, Tim has won a lot of things this year. And, and, um, uh, I didn't. I, I I ran out of time. His card is empty. <laughs> I ran out of time. But I do know that he was the Mercer County champion in the discus. I believe he was second in the shot put. Is that correct? But he was a double champion in the sectional meet, winning both the discus and the shot put, scoring 20 points for his team uh, in a big effort. Um, and they went on to the state group meet and uh, came through under pressure. Uh, he needed a big throw, and he threw 151 on his fifth throw. And he got through to the to the meet of champions, finishing fifth. He medaled in the uh, group meet and finished fifth, and threw 151, and um, got a chance to compete in the meet of champions, which was a great thing. He also went down to the national track and field meet and competed in the discus, and um, and in the uh, in the hammer throw. Now a lot of people don't know what the hammer throw is. Um, the hammer throw is a is a thing. How much does the ball weigh? So it's a 12 pound ball. And then you have this this wire, which is about what four feet long, three feet long. Sorry. Okay, so you have a wire that's three feet long, and then it's got a handle on it, and you whirl it around, and you and you turn around, 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 and throw this thing. And Tim is amazing at it, and he threw 178 feet in the hammer throw at the national championships, and finished in the championship division in 13th place in the nation. So that's a tremendous thing. Um, look, I could go on. Is, uh, Tim, Tim was the most important and most pivotal athlete we had on the team, and um, uh, I have great respect for him, and uh, I'm giving him the Most Valuable Athlete Award 2012. Tim Brennan. Okay, that's it for me. Coach Smirk is up.